welcome to this week about the urban water chain. Before I give an overview of the content of this week, let's first have a look at what we mean by the urban water chain. So, what is the urban water chain and what does it look like? When we talk about the urban water chain, we actually talk about basic universal needs. Because, in short, the urban water chain is about drinking water provision and sanitation. It entails the infrastructure for the production, distribution and consumption of drinking water, as well as for the collection and treatment and discharge of wastewater. It is very context specific what this water chain looks like, as we will see this week. Is infrastructure in place to produce drinking water from surface water or from, from groundwater? Or is water fetched locally and consumed without treatment? The same goes for wastewater. Is water discharged to the local environment directly after consumption? Or are there facilities in place to treat the wastewater and discharge it afterwards? But this is not the whole story. A water chain is only functioning as it is used, managed and modified by many stakeholders along the chain, including users, water boards and water companies, water vendors, municipalities and fecal sludge managers. This week we will see two very different appearances of this water chain. We will focus on drinking water and sanitation provision in the informal settlements of Kampala, Uganda, with absent or poor infrastructures, and in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, with highly dense infrastructures. In these contexts, we will show you that a water chain should not be understood as a technical infrastructure only. There is a key role to play for citizens and for other stakeholders along the water chain to operate it. Together, they are essential to co-create a safe and sustainable water chain. We start the week in the informal settlements of Kampala. Here, we will see that formal provision of services is scarce or absent. In these circumstances, it is up to communities to realize some sort of drinking water service and sanitation, together with private vendors, informal businesses, NGOs, and public service providers. We will discuss how people are forced to create their own solutions under conditions of fragmented infrastructure. But can we call a flying toilet a sanitation solution? We will show you that the purpose of a water chain is not restricted to water provision, but it also, also to its transport and treatment of wastewater. We will discuss the value of human waste within the wastewater as we introduce you to fecal sludge management. We will explain how this can contribute to safe, affordable and potentially profitable sanitation systems for communities in cities like Kampala. Subsequently, we will show that also in the Dutch context, human waste in the water chain is an issue of importance. In this case, we will discuss how medicine residues within human waste contaminate the water cycle. We will show you an example where patients actively adjusted their toilet behaviour to avoid micropollutants entering the wastewater in the first place. In the next section, we will show you how citizens are involved in monitoring their water use and the freshness of their drinking water in Amsterdam. We will discuss a citizen science project in which citizens monitor the bacterial composition of the drinking water across the city. Sounds tricky? We will hear from Waternet, the water company responsible for managing the water chain in Amsterdam, why they engaged citizens in this project. At the end of the week, we reflect and compare the Western Europe and Eastern African context. We discuss the influences of these contexts on the problems experienced and solutions chosen. I will indicate the co-creation spectrum that we have seen throughout the week. And we will reflect on how and to what extent various stakeholders have been involved in the co-creation processes that were presented. So, with this video, you know what we mean by the urban water chain and what you can expect from us this week. Enjoy the week!